Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to QCR. Today on QCR, we're gonna be making stove top popcorn. It's kind of crazy, because the other day I was at the store and this kid asked their parent if they can make, try and make stove top popcorn. And the parent said, I don't know how. It's kind of sad, you're an adult, you don't know how to make popcorn on the stove. So I'm gonna show you how right here on QCR. All right, so very first thing we gotta do is get our oil. Got a little Crisco, I'm gonna show you how much to put in. You don't need too much, just a little bit. That should be plenty, let's check it out. Let's see if that's enough. Kinda of swirl it around. Just want a little layer right there, just a little bit. Turn the stove on. We're gonna put it at about an eight. About an eight. Maybe it's slightly less. Look, it's getting red. Woo, it's getting hot. So, let that heat up for a little bit. We're gonna see exactly how hot it's gonna be with this thermometer. I wanna see how hot it is before it pops the kernel. So you're like, hey, how long is it how long is that heat up for? Well, take your little kernel, put it put two in there, put your lid on. It's gonna take a few minutes and then it's gonna pop. There's our temperature, saying 135, 137, 139. So when it pops, then it's time to put them in. When these pop, we're gonna pull them out and uh, put some fresh ones in. We don't want those to burn. So, we're already at 214. Let's see what happens. I gotta stand this way, it's starting to smoke a little bit. We'll turn the heat down to like a seven and a half. Seven and a half on the heat. Don't want to burn oil, because that's going to be nasty. Come on up, pop. It's getting ready, getting ready. Oh, there's one. There's one pop. So the first one popped at like 340. Take that. Out of there. 349, 349, 351, 352. Right for the second one, there it goes. Alright. Let's take this out of here. Alright, guys, so we got our oil nice and hot. It's about 345 to 350 degrees. So we're going to get some Orville Redenbacher's original popcorn kernels. We're just going to pour a little bit in. You don't want a layer. You don't want more than one layer. Um, about that much. That should be perfect. That should be the perfect amount of kernels. And it'll lift, that should be enough to lift the lid right off of this. So let's go from our seven. We got the oil hot. Go from our seven, back up to an eight. Let's watch this bad boy pop. That I've noticed when cooking this stuff is you don't want to use this as cooking oil. You just want to use this as topping oil. You're going to want to use some Crisco or something like this, some pure vegetable oil to actually put in here, not this. Oh, start. Something's happening. Something's happening in there, guys. Look at it go. Look at it go. This just takes a few minutes. Just a couple minutes to heat up the oil. Just a couple minutes to pop all this lovely popcorn. Get my, get my bowl real close. Shake it a little bit. Get that heat in there. Done. 
see it fills the pan real nicely. So it's done cooking. Let's take it and dump it out. Perfect. Look, just a couple little kernels didn't get popped. Perfect amount of popcorn. Perfect amount of kernels. Cut the heat off. Look at that. Look at that, guys. The little bowl of popcorn. Now is when you take the Oval Redenbacher's topping. Whoop, got some on the counter. Kind of put it on there like that. That's probably a lot. Then, then, what do you do next, guys? Popcorn salt. Morton's popcorn salt. This salt is not for popcorn. This is for regular cooking. Morton's popcorn salt. Just kind of sprinkle it on a little bit. A dab will do. Perfect. And then, just shake it up. Shake it up. That is the perfect amount of popcorn. All right, let's flip this thing over. Let's flip this thing over so you can see my face. I got some grease on the lens. So, we're going to try this most awesome popcorn ever. See here? We got big fluffy kernels. Man, that looks good, don't it, guys? Big fluffy kernels. Mm-mm. That's one buttery, salty popcorn. Look at that. It's pretty good popcorn. Nice and salty. Buttery. Perfect for a movie night. Let your kids play with some popcorn. Pretty good stuff. So it's right here, Orville Redenbacher. Get this on Amazon. I put a link below for this Orville Redenbacher popcorn. Link below. I put a link below for this guy. Get off Amazon. Probably get this on Amazon too. And I'll see if I can get a link for this also. I'll put it in my description. And this truff hot sauce. We'll put a link for that also. So guys, that's real simple. It takes like five minutes. It's really, it tastes better than bag popcorn you put in the microwave. I'm telling you, this is really good stuff. Let's try a little bit more. A bit more. Mmm. Really good popcorn, guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe. Share with your buddies. Really appreciate it. Alright, take care, guys.